Tale of Kingdoms, version 1.2. The great tides of darkness have come. The reficules have burned and ravaged the land, and it is up to you to save what is left. You are the last heir to the throne, the only hope of the overworld. Your adventure starts here, hero. The guild will prepare you. Note, always remember to build outside the kingdom unless the location is specified to you. Start new conquest! Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Nathan four five four. Here with Minecraft. Not just any Minecraft. It's a special type of Minecraft. I decided to quit the whole survival thing with uh you know. And I'm starting a new thing. This one is modded. A very special mod, and why is it taking so long? There we go. Look, a gravel path. Let's go it. And the people. And some people might probably could recognize this mod a mile away. This is called the Yog Box. It's a, not really a mod in its own, and oh my god, I'm so laggy. It's not a mod on its own, but it's a compilation of several mods. So, uh, I'm not sure which ones they are. I'm not big on those, but it has a mini-map book thing. It tells me a bunch of different uh, like things I can create. And it gives me the recipes. I think it's a recipe book. Don't know. Uh, okay. Crafting guide. I'm still Link. But I know that I do have a uh, mod that I've heard about. The people that told me about this, the Yogg's cast, has a... Uh, uh, I wouldn't have done this without them. But they showed it off on their channel, and it's made by them. I'm just like, oh my god, this looks like a great mod. You know, at first I thought, oh, this is going to take an eternity to download, but it's actually really easy. You download it, and in the file that you download, there's an actual installer. You can customize which mod you want and don't want, and it won't have any effect on it, except maybe give you a little less lag if you take something out. I've taken one thing out, and that's the More Health RPG mod. Because it requires Java 7, and my computer just does not want to download that. Anyway, this is a kingdom. First things first, see this guy? I'm gonna talk to this guy, I wanna talk to this guy. Well, he, t he gave me bread, which is good, because it's hard to get food. And then there's this guy. I could stop lagging. I am gravely lost, my king. I survived the attack, but many of our villages burned down. There are still survivors left. Hurry and rescue them. Uh, that's something we'll get into later. And as good as this mod is, I also find it a bit annoying in one way, which I'll get into later when they hold high. This guy will tell you, uh, tells you, oh hey, you're king, but you can't build yet. You're not experienced enough, which I'm not. And there's a guard. If you give them a wood a wooden sword, they will fight you. And if you can beat them, then they will tell the guild master of your efforts. This guy is very important. Uh, if it's nighttime or daytime, you can rest. If it's nighttime, you can rest until day, and uh, it'll be daytime, you know. Or you can rest until nighttime, and he will wake you up uh, when it's night. So you can kill monsters, which is actually kind of required. Anyway, we go up in our castle and go over here. This even has the, the crafting guide, even has equivalent exchange crafting, which is good because I do not know those. So I gotta be careful not to die with this thing. If I die with this thing, it won't be pretty. Anyway, this guy, very important. This is the guild master. Welcome to the order, hero. Thank you. Sign up for your contract right away. You are now one of us, my friend. Kill monsters and you will be soon be worthy of your title. Dang right, I will. Okay. Uh, there's a couple things you can do with him. One, you can start your contract, which is pretty much a quest. To uh, finish this one, you gotta kill a bunch of monsters. I still haven't even finished it when I tested this mod out. Although, I'm surprisingly, I'm less laggy, I think, than I was before. Anyway, uh, you can hire hunters, which costs 1,500 gold, I think. Uh, you can fix the guild. If you have 64 wood, not wooden planks, but wood, 
then you can uh, use the, then you fix the guild. I'm not sure what it does, but I did it a couple times. I didn't do much. And you can retire your hunters. If you hire a hunter, you can uh, retire it. It won't work with you anymore, but you'll get 1,000 of your gold back. Anyway, done talking to you. Good hunting. You can even steal from this place. You can just I could destroy this block right now, and they would not care. That's how I started out, actually, when I did it before. I just stole from this place to get wood, because I wasn't sure where, any, where anything else was. Oh yeah, this is also has, I think, the timber mine. I'm not sure if it is, but it does take out trees if I destroy the bottom part of it. But I'm, it won't do it if, I have, if I'm just punching with my hand. It will only do it if I use a axe. And I do not know why, but every now and again, if you look at my arm, my arm goes black. It just happens every now and again, so don't worry about that when it happens. My te uh, as far as I'm concerned, my skin won't change. So anyway, get some wooden planks. Now most people would decide that they need a uh, sword fist, and they are long. Or at least, not in my case. In my case, you don't want the knacks. It'll make it so much easier. And there's even a crafting bench right here, because of this good fellow. So, make myself an axe. It's wooden, but, you know. Oh yeah, real quick. This is the shop. Uh, if you have gold, which you can sell. Uh, if you kill a monster, you get gold, or you can take an item. Uh, I think I can do it with a stick. Yep, by selling one stick, I got one gold coin, so right now I am rich. Not really, but anyway. Thank you, come back again. I will, because you, I think, I think you are the only shopkeeper around. Real quick, go back to this tree, finish my unfinished business, destroy the wood. And like that, all the wood is gone. And you needn't worry about any, uh, oh my god, this tree is huge. By destroying this one block right here, I upset the entire structure, and it comes flying down. Anyway. Although I am still pretty laggy. Oh yeah, if any of you noticed, I do not have my texture pack. I just did not, I'm not using it because, one, I'm not sure if it will mess with any mods, and two, it was laggy as all crap. Uh, am I, I'm going to change, save my render distance. Uh, that's not my render distance. Yeah, it's on time. I'm also on easy. I have a reason why, and trust me, it, it's, it's good for me. Uh, achievements, they have a few more, uh, as of right now, I can do Rambo new, if I can make a homing bow, which I'm not sure. Oh yeah, this also has a mo, mo creatures. So yeah, mo creatures is a mod that adds more, more creatures. They have so many different, uh, they add, it adds a lot more. Like this, to hell and back, get a burn ring by entering in water with a burning ring. I think I can get that in the nether. And I can learn how to get the homing bow by using this, I think. This is a philosopher's stone. This thing is used to make several... This is uh, the main part of equivalent exchange. And it's kind of hard to make. You need glowstone, redstone, and slime balls. Which is, yeah. Or you can use ender pills, a chicken egg, I don't know where that comes from, and coal. I don't even know how it, how it, it's going to be pretty hard to get a slime ball. You could also use a philosopher's stone to make a philosopher's stone. That makes total sense. Uh, you can make red matter stuff, uh, dark matter stuff. Not sure much about this, I'm not a 100% genius on this. But I've seen, but if you look up the Oxcast, they do have a video on this. They explain like everything about it. Well not everything, they, actually I think they do cover everything. Oh, this is incredibly expensive. It's pretty much with the Philosopher's Stone, you could turn stuff into stuff. And you can turn that stuff into more stuff. And you can turn that stuff into more stuff until you finally get diamonds. Which is 
I have no idea what it is. Hey, look, diamonds. Diamonds can be used for make the homing bow, a lightning arrow, stuff like that. Also, this is a medallion. This is uh, needed in the Mo Creatures mod. Uh, Mo Cre the medallion is used to tame cats, but it's gotta take a while to get that. And this, where did it go? Where did it go? Apparently, I, oh yeah, I could make a block of diamond with that. And if I have obsidian, a book, and a diamond, I can get an enchanter table. Those are things that aren't part of the mod, but it's part of the new Minecraft. This, this is a gem of eternal density. It's not used for my, all I have, need is obsidian, dark matter, and diamond. So it's pretty expensive. Can't remember 100% of what it does. Anyway, uh, I think dark matter stuff is even stronger than diamond stuff. But again, I do not know a lot about this mod. I have not used uh, equivalent exchange. I haven't used very much. Cause you know it's expensive. Oh, a uh, house. Well, that's stupid. I hope I can keep my crafting guy in here, because if I die, this thing is gone. And I do not want that. One of the reasons I'm on easy, by the way, is because I lag, you know. And I don't want to risk being attacked by a monster and dying before I can react, because it's happened before. And I might as well show how I have, when you fight those guys. Let me just- Oh, I have a lot of wood. Now I have a bunch of wooden planks. Now- Oh, hi, guard. And I lagged. Done it. Yeah, they're pretty strong. And by pretty, I mean incredibly strong. Two hits and you're dead. Unless you have armor, I'm not sure. But I've killed them before. Uh, unlike zombies, they don't stretch your arm you. And you can hit them back before they can hit you. So yeah, that's a good thing. But anyway, I gotta go grab my stuff. Hopefully he, has, he doesn't steal it. And look, another guard. He's up on that building. Hey, a pig. I'm gonna have to kill you later. Anyway. I'm also not using a timer at the moment. Oh, my bread! Oh, phew. That guy will not give you eternal bread forever. Uh, every now and then, you have to uh, pause every now and again. Where is it? My stuff? Oh, there, there's my stuff. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I died in front of a fire. Hey, look, netherrack. Yeah, we're gonna be seeing a lot of that. We really are. But yeah, I'm not using a timer because I got a message from YouTube saying I'm eligible to make videos over uh, 15 minutes. So I'm going to see if that if what they said is true. Maybe uh, it will be under 15 minutes. Maybe not. But I'm just not going to care for this video. If they allow me to upload it, I'll be fine. Then I'll upload it. Pig didn't give me pork. What a jerk. Huh. Anyway, look at all the saplings. It's so cute. They're so cute. Look at how cute they are. They're so small. Huh. And don't worry if a monster gets here into the city, they it will not kill people. The guards will kill it before it makes it past the gate. Unless it spawns here, but you know. They kill it pretty fast. Hey, look how well. So pretty. Anyway. Let's go over here. Anyway, let's wait until night time. Also, this is, has the Somnia, which pretty much you, uh, time will pass quickly while you're in, asleep, but you can wake up whenever you want. Would you like to take a rest, sir? Yes, I would. I'm taking a rest right now. You shouldn't wake me up. I am cranky when I get waking up from a nap. 
And now it's dark. Darkness. It's a polar bear. How's that doing? Die. Die. Truthfully, the only enemy that pop this probably doesn't work on is either a creeper, because they will explode, and a, what's it called, a skeleton, because they can shoot at you, so it doesn't matter how far away you are. They need to prefer to sidestep than come straight at you. I'm thinking maybe it's normal monsters that give me gold coins, because these polar bears, I don't, they're technically they're not monsters, they're not aggressive. I think it only works on aggressive things. Also, in the top right, I'm using a mini-map type mod. I can make waypoints if I need to, which I probably should make one over here. Just in case I die, or if I get lost, I don't want to get lost. Getting lost is bad. To do that, just press C. Enter the waypoint name. Being link, I'm going to do that. And because it's probably uh, what I want to see most, I'll make it white so I can see it even in the dead of night. Also, if you press B, there are no known villages uh, closer than two kilometers. Keep searching. Uh, if you press B, you can uh, search for any villages nearby. So that's a perk. There are villages. This has the millionaire mod. Oh crap! Spider! 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 Die. Anyway, as I was saying, spider eyes. I think I saw a spider eye. I got some spider eye. Those are dropped by spiders, but I don't see spiders very often. So that's good. But I'm not really big on uh, knowing the names of the smaller mods. I don't really know many of the names of any of the- I mean, I think this is just the RPG mod that just went to castle. Not 100% so sure. Though I think they are sky pirates, as I saw in the video about the Yogg's cast. They also did the- and who has the... Oh. You. These things are good to kill. They drop coal. Anyway, pig, you're dying. Ah, Sword, you're... Oh, shoot. Pork. And when I am running, I do not want to be out here without a sword. My sword is my life. Without it, I am dead. I really am. And look at that, they just killed the skeleton. I'm stealing all these remains because they don't want to. And there's another pig that's hiding here. But it's not safe here, piggy. funny they uh skeletons will drop everything though uh they have arrows and bones and all that except for their bow like where does that go does it just magically disappear does it get destroyed in the struggle makes no sense oh i got my you got your bread for now yeah i know hey look another spider dead oh hey zombie dead yeah it's basically a good place to uh gather any monster stuff might have, you know, that isn't around. Anyway, I'm gonna make myself a sword. Wow. Uh. Oh yeah, and if you have a, if you put something that you crafted before in here, I don't think it works with tools. If you put like a stick here, no. Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of something else. Plus one, you could have done something, but I'm I'm just an delusional. Anyway, to kill monsters even more so. Real quick, is my crafting guide still in here? If it is, I'm gonna be happy. But if it's gone, I'm going to kill somebody. Mainly that guard. Whichever one I'm pointing at. Okay, it's still in here, so I'm glad. 
you don't have to die today, God. They actually do, like, die when you defeat them in a battle. When you fight them. They, like, disappear. But they say, oh, I'm gonna tell the guild master of your efforts. So I'm not sure how they do that. I'm assuming they just vanish. Magic. Pig, gotta get myself some pork. Where'd it go? There it is. And no pork. Although I like that you can stack pork chops now. That was a big issue for me a while back. And it was an even bigger issue. Oh, hey, a cave. There are a lot of these for some reason. But it was a huge issue uh, to not be able to have any. Be able to carry your pork chops in one stack. Uh, especially when you got the hunger bar and it became even more needed. Or maybe, yeah, more needed because your hunger bar will drop even if you... Oh, hey, look at this. Defying gravity, are we? Mm. And I'll leave it be. It's special. Zombie, where you going? Where you going? Where was it going? And it's dead. It takes them a little bit to die, though. But I don't think they can hurt you during the time that they're dying, but it's kind of like a bleeding out thing. They'll spew their gold everywhere. Which does make sense. I, I find this also an issue in uh, Final Fantasy, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. But why do those random woodland creatures and monsters carry bows and knives and gold? I mean, I fought like a bunny in that game. I found a bunny. And that thing had a knife on it. Why does it have a knife? Where did it get a knife? Did it eat somebody? If so, I don't think I want to be fighting those rabbits. And he still doesn't want to give me my bread. Greetings, you seem like a tough spider. Give me a wooden sword and let's have a sparring match. No, I'm lagging. What am I doing? Seriously, what am I doing? I, used to, I tend to wander. Why I'm, why, what I do wonder is why hasn't it turned daylight yet? I didn't expect it to be this long. Oh wait, I think it is... I think it is getting a bit light out. Yeah, it's getting lighter out, so... Monsters are probably gonna die. Anyway, keep up my eye on your mini-map every now and again, because there is something I do not want to run into. If I run into it, I'm going to be so angry, because if I do, I'm not going to get my... It's going to kill me, and I'm not going to get my stuff back. I think it's those refectuals that they get... That I was told about in the beginning. But either way... They are not to be trifled with. Oh my god, it's a... It's a just those things. It's pumpkin... Oh, hey, a spider. Hi, Mr. Sheep. What are you doing? But I saw a spider. I'm gonna go kill it, even though it's probably not gonna hurt me, because it's daylight. Hi, Mr. Spider. Don't mind me. I'm just here to kill you. A patch of snow died died this day, but his death was not in vain. <clears throat> Look at all this wood.
and some of it stuck in the tree. Fantastic. Huh. Yay, more wood. And that's really the only problem with killing the with destroying these big trees with the timber mod. And that's because it did, all the wood falls, so it sometimes falls onto uh, uh, leaves. It's a bear! The bear's gonna die. I'm gonna kill that bear. The bear's gonna die. Oh my god, he's a big bear. Ah, oh. Oh, oh, that's that's mean. Why, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta be so mean? Now you, now you gotta be punished. Look at his ears, it kinda looks like it has a bow when it gets hit. Oh, a cow! Hey, cow. Come here. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell you a secret. Die! There you go. Leather and beef. And I'm gonna grab one of these. Because I like these. I'm actually gonna grab two. Because one, one of them is for something special. Yay! Okay, this is annoying. In the Zen Zelda check pack, that's supposed to look like the Mask of the uh, Lens of Truth thing. I know I actually tried it out, but you know, I don't care. Now, I have seen the moon before. I was on a multiplayer server. I've been looking at those a lot. They're kind of laggy, but you know, some of them are good. And I was looking at uh, the moon because I had to keep myself a give. I had to increase my texture uh, limit thing a bit more. I saw the moon. It was freaky because uh, apparently the moon goes through phases now. Or at least that's what I've heard. So I'm assuming it changes uh, with the phases. And there's still wood up there. Let's see also. Anyway. Give me my wood. Yeah. Come here. Give it to me. I want it. It is mine. Oh, hey, more wood. How much wood do I have anyway? 48. What can I do with this anyway? I think they're used for like crafting potions or something. Flowers. I'm gonna grab myself some of these. I'm gonna have to oh god! I just jumped. That scared me. Just like in the first one. My original survival it came out of nowhere. <sighs> oh my god. Well, it's dead now. And I have 74 gold coins. Oh, I dropped a fish. I like fish. And now my sword broke. Fantastic. But at least in uh, this uh, mod compilation thing, if you lose your uh, sword or pickaxe, I think, You'll just move it to the next one in your quick slots. Which is cool, so you don't have to stop mining to switch over or something. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. I'm afraid to go. I'm 
gonna have to go close. They might, they might try and kill me. Uh, not sure if they're like a pack. I got one away. I'm gonna kill it. This is a big cat. Yeah, those, those are big cat claws. Don't touch me. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. I got a critical. I'm gonna back up. Uh, those things are dangerous. I'm just gonna go back to the castle. Like, oh crap, I don't know where a furnace is. I have to get myself a craft. I gotta craft myself a uh, pickaxe. Get myself some cobblestone. Make myself a furnace. Unless there's furnace around here. But this place is really convenient, so I wouldn't doubt it, but you know. Um, sir, you do realize there is a polar bear in your backyard. I hope he realizes that. Hey, I saved your life. You best be thankful. Crafting guy is still here. I believe the big cat claw is used for crafting a thingamabob. A what's it called? What was it called? A whip. I can make a whip. I think. I'm sure they won't miss a few blocks. Hey, look, sand. Probably should put up, put up one of those hazard signs. Danger, there are no blocks here. Oh, wait, never mind, there's a fence, never mind. I was to say danger, there are no blocks here, but there's a fence, they won't fall, unless they're an idiot. They somehow break the laws of Minecraft and bust through that gate and fall through. I want to make a couple stone block. Oh well, get myself a furnace. Hey, I'm going to give you a present. This is called a furnace. You do not have one. I'm going to give you one, but I get full permission to use it whenever I want. Best be thankful. I'm doing a lot for you people. Put this in. Put that in. I'm surprised. Beforehand, this, my, uh, hypercamp would not, would just do anything. It would, uh, at first it'd be like, oh, hey, there's too many traps or whatever. But it's actually doing pretty good. It has, it has not once said, oh, hey, there aren't, in, it's too high traps. I'm not doing this. I'm cooking all my stuff, my fish, my beef, and my chicken. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Got myself some steak. Gotta get myself a second one. Gonna eat, you know. Do what a regular person does. Eat steak with their bare hands without a fork or a knife and just chow it down. Like a cannibal. Hopefully, I can uh, this last pe this piece of coal can last. Good. 
Oh, I got myself some delicious fish. It's an achievement, apparently. There it is. Sweet. Casting cook the fish. Or I kill a bear, take its remains, and then eat it. Hmm. Anyway. Hi, Mr. Knight. If you, why do you want me to give you a wind sword if you have a perfectly good iron sword right there? Hey, you have eyes? He has eyes. That's like the most amazing thing I've discovered so far. Get my chicken, my uh, fish. Cause you know, like I, I do that. And you know what? I think I'm going to end it off. Shouldn't pro I probably shouldn't just say I'm going to end it off because there's nothing really we do. We have to get out of the habit of doing that. I'm used to doing like my. I mean, I had a 108 episode Legend of Zelda playthrough. And every episode, I just said, hey, last episode, next episode, this episode, whatever. Anyway, later.